Hello everyone, it is Justice, and today we are going to be talking about my extensive collection of Traveler's Company leather, or, well yeah, it's called Traveler's Company Japan. They also have an online shop called Traveler's Factory. I don't quite know the difference. Um, if anyone knows the difference, please let me know, because as someone who doesn't know, I don't know. <laughs> That's so self-explanatory, oh my gosh. Anyways, hi, I'm Justice, I am autistic, I love stationery, and one of my hyperfixations slash special interests is this brand specifically. I do not love just any leather notebook cover. I had like a no-name leather notebook cover for many years before buying into Traveler's Company, but here we are now. What I will say, in the past I have some videos where I'm a little bit insecure about my collection because whenever I first got into this hobby, the entire purpose of it was for me to get one notebook, it's this one by the way, get one notebook, a pen or two, and continue using those to reduce my footprint essentially. Um, because I am such an avid writer, I went through like Pilot G2s nonstop and I felt like that was kind of a waste of plastic. And I went through a lot of notebooks and I liked the ones with fancy binding. Um, and I figured getting one leather notebook cover and then replacing the inserts would be much more sustainable one for the environment, and then two for my money because you can make your own inserts. It's really not that hard. Um, it has spiraled. I am obsessed. I love this brand and I do largely simp for them. <laughs> so in this video, we're going to go over everything in my collection. Now, some rules that have come about that I did not put into place consciously. One, I don't feel bad about the size of my collection anymore. I used to, but because I don't want every single one of them, it's it's honestly fine to me. Part of it's having an archivist mindset of knowing that I have older notebooks. Um, but also, I don't like a lot of the... I don't want to say the newer collabs. I don't like every single collab, you know? Like, two that come to mind just off the top of my head are the Moomin collaboration and the Prada collaboration. And also Ace Hotel. I don't know anything about Ace Hotel, so... It, meh. So Moomin, I didn't grow up with. I understand it's very, very cute, but considering the demand for the Moomin collab and me not having any connection to Moomin, it was easy to pass up. For Prada, I love how slay it is that Traveler's Company collab with Prada, like, go off. But I'm not really into high, high fashion in terms of owning pieces for myself. I don't really get down like that. So... This is really my most indulgent activity in terms of like a brand name. So I don't get every single collab. While I would like to have the older versions, I'm not going to spend crazy, crazy money on older versions like whenever they were branded under Midori versus Traveler's Company. I think that that's really cute. If I happen upon things, I will take them, but I'm not going to pay upwards of $400 for an old notebook that's been used, you know? It kind of reminds me of like the real resale market in clothing where it's like, ooh, I have these designer socks and they're kind of yellow and dingy, but they're designer. And so I'm gonna sell them for $50. And it's just like, why? Why would you do that? There's no point in that. Anyways, tangent, let's get into the goodies. Okay, so first we have my passport sizes. I will say there is one missing. I do have a blue passport size that has the leather good coffee little tag on it, but I've given that to my husband so that he can use it for his own journal. These are the three that I currently have. I have the Traveler's Records that came out in 2022, the Traveler's Train that came out in 2022, as well as a normal camel. The camel is the first passport size that I got. I will say this was a while after having my first regular size. I used this mainly whenever I was working in a bakery. And so this is actually oil from buttercream frosting that is stuck to it. Um, I would bring it around and learn recipes that way. So this was my little workbook with me. It now carries my actual passports. So that's really cute. This is a password book and this is my daily carry. Attached to it is also the Factory Green Fountain Pen. I recently got this from someone selling it secondhand. And just to prove, ah, fountain pen. Because I can't find it in actual retailers anymore because I missed out. Because I was just like, mm, I don't need another fountain pen. And then the freaking completionist inside of me was just like, 
oh, but I'm, I'm really going to miss out if I don't just get it. So I may as well get it now before it's been like many, many years since it's come out. Like example, the Pan Am original blue traveler's notebook. Whew, I am not going to have one of those happen again. No, ma'am. So these are my passport versions. Um, I also have like a little record charm here attached to the traveler's train. You would think that I would put it on traveler's records, but I figured the black went quite well with the black. And this actually came from the Paper Seahorse. I went to their traveler's diner meetup in Tampa and their owner is super duper nice. So just wanted to note that. Okay, we're going to get into my regular size collection, which is quite a bit larger. So we're going to go through them a little bit faster and one by one. This one is currently what I'm carrying. It is the Starbucks Reserve Roastery in the camel color. I am very fond of the camel color. It is my favorite. Um, I started off with the actual just brown, which we will see in a bit. But with this one, I have a coffee bean charm. I have a mug charm. And I also have the Starbucks Brash Charm. Down here, I have another Starbucks Brash Charm. How adorable. This is the year of coffee, so go all in, right? It is very tubby. And that's just what we're rolling with. Next up, we have the Taiwan Beer Edition. Um, this is also camel colored. I have a brass little travel case that says traveler's notebook and the little luggage tag says TRC. Down here I have a little beer and a little beer opener. Also traveler's company written on it and then on the other side it says Taiwan beer. This was something I carried a lot last year and you can see how the gold is like starting to scratch off. I was a little bit sad about that at first but like even if it does scratch off I'm hoping that you will still be able to see at least a little bit of the design because I am someone that wants to use my things. I don't want them to just sit. So I rotate through all of my notebooks and things. This one is currently sitting, but I will get there again. Also, you can really see where the charms sit and live with this leather. My newest addition is the Traveler's Diner Set. I saw a number of people doing unboxings for these, and by the time mine came in the mail, so many people had already just gone in store and purchased and posted reviews, so I didn't really feel the need to. But this is adorable, entirely retro, and I love that it's like debossed, embossed, not quite sure. But I like how it's in the leather, so I'm less worried about it just rubbing off over time the same way that I am with the Taiwan Beer Edition. This is where it all started. This is my brown notebook. I have the manual factory bear on it. On the binding, I have a little notebook and a little fountain pen. And I don't think that I have, yeah, I don't have anything on the bottom. This brown leather has gotten so shiny over its time being used. This was the only Traveler's Company notebook that I had for a very long time, so it has patinaed. It is kind of dark and it's like, oily from my hands and I love it. It shows so much wear and so much love. Next up is the Have a Nice Trip Fly with Travelers Airlines. This was released in 2022 as well. This came in a, not a set, but this was released at the same time as Traveler's Train, Traveler's Records, and another one that you will be seeing. It is blue, but it's like a very dark navy greenish blue. And this time the accent is in a silver color. A lot of the times it's in a golden color, kind of like the brass, but this time it's kind of silvery. If you were to look at me and be like, hi Justice, what things do you like? I would never say blue and I would never say silver. But for this brand, I will do it. Here we have my Kyoto edition. This is also blue, but it's much more green than the other one. Here, let me show you. So this I would call like a navy navy, and this one's slightly more green. And just to add in a little bit of extra confusion, here is the plain blue. So these are all blue from Traveler's Company. 
This is the most like true blue, at least in my opinion. This one's more green colored. And this is like a tealy, like it's in between these two, at least in my opinion. And of course everyone's is going to be just a little bit different, but these are my three blue ones. I will say I love that the Kyoto has the rose gold. I think it is the only one, at least that I can think of, that has the rose gold. And so it's extra special to me. We also have the Traveler's Factory Airport and this little baby tag. This is a brown color. I have a number of brown colors and I will show you those in just a moment. But this one also has this as a chain. Um, I tied it on because it somehow unhooked itself and I wasn't about to lose it. Traveler's Hotel, this is upside down. Okay, retake, Traveler's Hotel. It comes with a little trunk that says TRC and a little key right there. This also has rose gold. So I literally just like lied when I said, oh, I think the Kyoto version is the only one that has the rose gold. I, li I, I literally have another one with rose gold. So just ignore me, girl. Oh my God. And beside that one, we have the Tokyo Station. This one is extra special because my very good friend Amy bought it for me when she was in Japan. And it is well loved, well used, and it continues to have its little design on it. On the bottom, I did have a charm and then it fell off. And on the side, I have my tiny notebook from the 10th anniversary. And last but not least, this is an olive edition. My stationary friend, Ine, gave it to me and I am so happy with it. I figured this would be extra special because Traveler's Company recently announced that they were bringing olive back into their normal standings. So I happen to have one of the older olives because one of my friends is amazing and let me acquire it. And olive is coming back. I would love to purchase a new olive and compare it to this one to kind of see if anything's different because I know back whenever Traveler's Company released their first camel, it was also a different camel to the camel that we now have today. I don't have one of those original ones, but if you watch the Seaweed Kisses video, Seaweed Kisses has a number of camel colored things and can show you the difference between their colorings. Now I want to kind of show you all of the colors with their little families. So out of here, Olive. These are all of the brown notebooks I have. The Traveler's Factory Airport is the coolest toned brown of the batch, I believe. And then I would say the next coolest would be the Traveler's Hotel. This is kind of like a dusty brown, but close to camel, at least in terms of the texture. This is like a soft downy texture, whereas these two are very smooth. This one also has a little bit of a downy texture. So there's going to be slightly different leathers. these right next to each other. I showed all of my blues earlier, but here they are again. You know, the little beautiful babies. These are all of my camel colors. They're roughly the same. I would say it's really difficult to compare these ones just because they are like that downy leather, like the felty feeling leather. So whenever they get scratched, they turn lighter. This I carried the most often, and it's one of the lighter colored ones that I have. I'm surprised it didn't patina more. The Traveler's Diner is the lightest, so least patina, more patina, most patina. They will age with you as you use them. Similarly, this is my everyday carry, and she is now just a little bit... I would say she's like right here with this being the lighter and this being the darker. The shadow is making it look a little bit darker than it is, but I promise you this isn't as dark as my Taiwan beer just yet. And this is my one little black notebook. I thought that the black would be my most favorite, but I ended up not getting it because whenever I first got into this brand and these notebooks, I wanted brown because it would show patina a little bit easier. Black, I find, looks nice and new, even as it ages. Like, this has some scratches from the charm. But whenever you hold it, it doesn't really look that worn unless you're specifically looking in the light. 
if I just place it down here, it doesn't really look all that warm. Now, aside from the notebooks, what I also have are these brass stencils, which are pretty new to me. I also purchased them at the Paper Seahorse, along with this brass clip. So I got all of these. Another thing that I wanted to show is this little sticker set from the Taiwan Beer Collection. Um, I haven't used all of them yet. I actually purchased two little sets of these because I thought it was so cute, but I still have these. I'm like waiting on them and cherishing them. I will use them. I just, I need to work through inserts to where I can put a sticker on the front because these are the type of sticker to where I want just one sticker on the cover, I think, versus what I'm currently doing where I'm collaging multiple stickers. Like, I want those to have an impact. They make me very, very happy. Anyways, thank you so much for following this little video in my very large collection of Traveler's Company notebooks. I'm sure that I will acquire more as the years go on. I acquired a lot just in the past couple of years since COVID, but I'm obsessed. If you're watching this, you may also be obsessed or you're contemplating being obsessed or you're just like, oh my God, Justice, what are you doing? In which case, hi, I'm here. This is me. Love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Do you have any funny collections? Do you have any of these? Do these surprise you? I would love to know. What is your stationary weakness? Thank you. Bye.